Just as the word implies, wireframing is to draw wired or skeleton figures of your web page to help you figure out what goes where on your web page. This screencast is going to go over some live examples of some popular site layouts and implications of those, those layouts. So what does a wireframe look like? Let me show you an example. I made an image using Gliffy.com showing how a wireframe should look like. It doesn't have to be done by a diagram drawing software or something like Gliffy.com. You can actually just draw it on a piece of paper using pen or pencil. But basically it looks like this. You draw out skeleton figures of the page and you divide them up into subsections. Okay, So you have a logo section here, you have a main navigation section here. These will be divided into mul multiple tabs, subcategories. You don't have to come up with that right now. Or if you have that in mind, it will be best if you put it in. Uh, use your login, sign up is right here. A divider or a search bar can go in between here and a lot of the sites usually put a horizontal banner ad right at the top of the page. Then you have on the left side most popular and attractive videos or contents. And then on the right side you have important or helpful information. Then you have the footer. The center piece doesn't usually go uh, like this divided up evenly. A lot of times it may be like a blog where the left side is taking up the most space and then the sidebar is only maybe fractions of the whole width. Okay, And it may also be three columns where the middle piece will be the largest and more visible. And so what do you think of when you're wireframing pages? I like to think of four things. I think about how to prioritize my page. Uh, by that I mean I want to prioritize my page so I know that what needs to be stand out more and what needs to be in this main navigation links because that's the place where I want to drive my users to. Or even with most important contents, I want to have them on showing on my index page. Then I want to think about generalizing. I want to group necessary pages into one category. So within the main navigation, these may be links to categories. And I would definitely keep it simple. Don't make it too complicated for the user or else they're going to get lost. Then that eventually uh, means usability. Okay, Make it user friendly as well as keeping it simple. So let's look at some live examples. This wireframe was done for a video site called River. They made some changes so the wireframe is a little bit different. But you'll see that the site has a logo here, main navigations here, and then login here, and then the search bar is right here. And you can see that River has this left section that is supposed to be the most popular videos or featured videos for the day. And then at the right side, more important information, which is some recent videos. And then if you scroll down, there are most watched, editors pick, comedy, and recent ad added. Okay. And River decided to lay out the page 
as is because they have prioritized what's more important. So they believe these, this section is more important for the users and that's why they put it there. And also generalizing they've made important links. So with videos tab if you click on it it'll take you to pages and pages of videos sorted by different ways. Then you can also browse by categories or also just by creators. So this is generalizing or utilizing this main navigation bar to bring user to uh, user-friendly pages and they definitely made it very simple, easy to use, and uh, the usability is high. So let's take a look at another very popular site, which is google.com. It's very plain, very simple, and let me just sign out real quick. Okay, it's plain, it's simple, and Google believes this is the best way to present the site with just the search bar and focusing on the search bar. And they have made some additional links here okay, and they generalize it and prioritize their links to have web images, maps, news, shopping, Gmail. They think these are the most important to show on the navigation. Okay. So these are the basics of wireframing and creating a wireframe. So you don't actually have to draw out the images, just categorize it, subcategorize it, right? And that's it for this screencast. Thank you.